once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But they scared it away. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the old wolves helped the brothers escape. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south, to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Dad thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Recorded at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on.
Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. Man, that would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Looking... Ugh, kind of lame. Swipe left. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. I wish I had more time to play, and that's for summer school. They're probably gonna bury me in this thing. Oh, no time for this. Where are you? Of course. Like, I want to play fucking hide-and-seek. Hmm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories? Who would have thought playing Minecraft would get him back to his blocks? Got this for a girl in the eighth grade. Thought I chickened out. I used to play with these at Ellery's. Oh, man, I feel old. Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. This thing is so cheap and ugly. I love it. So lucky Noah lives downtown. Else they'd drive me crazy 24-7. Man, my brother's a little player. Lila loves it. Ooh, Dad confiscated the play box after that. Daniel was a total rage ball. What is he making with all that crap? Did this for Daniel's birthday. He was so happy with it. I would have been pissed if I was there. Oh, asshole. Sucks to be Daniel. 
But he can't bug me all the time. Dad got in trouble for his last barbecue. I hope he does it again, so I can come this time. Sorry, Andrew. I'm the free babysitter now. Daniel is psyched, but I'd rather just go with Lila and the crew. Whoa, hold on. <gasps> Dude, I told you to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man! You started it, dickhead! What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear. He started it. He always gets mad He's at... totally lying. You little... Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid! It's bullshit! Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. We're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I know that, and I do look out for him, I swear. But he's a little brat. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him, like you are now. <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Be nice and don't break anything else. 
Jeez. We really fucked up on this one. Dad loves his trophy. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I come don't on, hear dude. anything! La la la! Hey, Daniel! Leave me alone! Come on! Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. <sighs> Leave me alone! And don't touch my stuff. Whoa. Don't know who drew this, but it's totally rad. Hey, Daniel. Why are you pouting? A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. Why are you still here? Sean! Oh, I forgot about Bobby the Yeti. <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. Ah, he's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs> Damn. Haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor robot. No battery. Duh. Come on. Go away. Oh, now you can hear me? Just leave me alone. Hey. That's cool. Did you make it? Be careful! Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly, you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay if I sit down? <sighs> so... When did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself. Since... You're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow. Thanks, Sean. This is so cool. I'll keep it forever and ever.
He doesn't talk about it, but I know Daniel really misses Chris. Man, Beaver Creek feels so far away. Hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. <sighs> Daniel keeps reading it again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. Another month, and we'll be hooked up for Mexico. <sighs> Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk about fucking fate. Yep. I'm a real man now. <sighs> kind of. Hey, bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh, uh, hi, uh, yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay. I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. It's a mystery how Finn can be so messy and strong at the same time. Glad somebody's getting some action. I thought I liked weed, but this guy's on a whole nother level. I always spot him reading in the morning. Like he isn't cool enough already. Weird to see him younger. Finn looks so... innocent. Finn told me a bit more about train hopping. His map is like his Bible. Can't tag a train without paint. Glad to see somebody has Finn's back. Jeez, she's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. Gotta have backup signs. 
That girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. Ah, no more fog. Sweet. I'm not quite sure who Penny is. He's so out there. Hannah's so private about her life. Plus, she probably hates my guts. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. You don't know what's inside? Like that movie. The sun has saved Must us. Must have coffee. Shoot, what's the date today? Is it the 15th or 16th? These guys have top gear. Wish I did. Yo, man, crushing hard today. <laughs> yeah, I'm just smoked too much again. I'll get him up before Big Joe gets here. Good. I want you to start the day with that asshole yelling. <sighs> My turn. Gotta stock up the shower and kitchen That's later tonight. Gift. Wish it rained more. Nice to get fresh free water. These trees are just so gorgeous. What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Not much. What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <sighs> Don't laugh. Aw. That's cute. How old is she? She's nine years old now. <laughs> like Daniel. Do you miss her? I'd probably miss her the most. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. <laughs> yeah. I do miss being on my own sometimes. You know? Privacy, stuff like that. Really? I hate being alone. Guess I'm used to having people around. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Um, thinking of you? I do think a lot about her. I'm sure she does, too. I don't know. I'm afraid Sarah's a bit mad at me for leaving her. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late, or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean, thanks again, man. Jake's stuff is always so tidy and neat. Just like him. Man, I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold. But fucking awesome. So many missing persons around here. Creepy. We shower like once or twice a week. Gives us more time to chill, right? Living large and humbled. Yep. I'm up for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Yay. Coffee time, Sean. 
Man, grass, I'm gonna sit your ass down. Most of them are into fancy hippie food. And fast food junk. Water is kind of rare around here. Everything goes into the plantations. Coffee out in the wild is the best coffee. Period. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narc, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So, then, where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Kush gear. But not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. It's legal in Washington, and it's worked out okay. It's gonna be legal everywhere, soon anyway. Legal but controlled. By who? The bitches who made it against the law. Yay, freedom. I don't know. Things have to change. Bo, um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. Take some, Keep give some. Back. It's only fair. Because we... Where from again? Sweden, Malmö. You wouldn't hear about it. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe <laughs> Diaz. Fucking way to work a Try farm. my... Special morning yeah. brew. Nice. I like that gourmet shit. Yeah. Been working for three years in a coffee shop to pay for the trip. I hope that shit was worth it. Oh, yeah. Good times. Wish we came sooner. I feel like we will never... Funny how I like being out in the forest now. You did. I actually you feel... Wood is right. You free. saw the real shit. True. I will miss you too, Penny. Those guys sure know how to live outdoors. They taught me so much already. We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold. But fucking awesome. Remember, look straight. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes, I'm the man. Holy shit! That was dope! What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja! Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey, seriously. 
I've never seen anyone throw like that. Wow. Finn trained you well. Six bowl sized dude. Yeah. I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Practice. Yeah. Right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean, idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay, yeah, I'll take a shot. Let's show the kid what's what. Oh, Sean, hold your right arm, yeah. more like this, better alignment, better aim. Won't really help. Dude, what's wrong with you? Don't think twice, bro. Just go. F Come on, sweetie. One more time. I know you can do it. Be zen, Sean. That's the secret. <laughs> oh, fuck that. <laughs> Missed. See, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja, but you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Woo! After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet? Uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> big brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? You think that shit is funny? What shit? Stop acting stupid. You're pushing it, Daniel. You made me miss in front of Finn. What if he finds out, huh? What then? I'm not stupid. He won't find out. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that. I'm not a kid anymore! Daniel, don't- Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now! Or what? I said stop, Daniel! Don't grab me! Uh. Sean, I I'm sorry! I, I didn't mean to! I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good, but you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with their new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos, remember? It's gonna take forever. We should try and find Mom, since we have her letter now. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where 
Karen really is. And we can't risk getting caught while looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair, but you're my brother. My responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know, but I'm not gonna be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh-oh. Big Joe. Hey, Daniel. Remember what I said. Low profile. Yeah. Okay. We're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash, you know. Okay, okay. Wish we could send Chris a present. Or something. Or maybe just check on him. We will, Daniel. When we're safe and far away. I know. I had fun playing hide-and-seek last night, especially in the dark. That was cool. Thought Penny might hide forever. Yeah, but we said the trees were off-limits. Cheater. here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to give me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh... Nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. So at this you point, know, I'm like, whatever, dude, eye, just right? give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jump. You're not boss. listening to anything I say. So I'm cutting that. Are you? Yeah. What? Jeez, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh, shit. Ooh, too oh, much shit. sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was Two fucking. bees in a pod, these ones. I'll show you the battle scope. Oh, it was so high yeah. last night. Hey, Sean Dallas. Ooh. Nah, I love just you, keeping you an eye out, with that, you know? Though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> big brother watching. Hey, who's the next That's master cute. here? I'm just, did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for shown in that even? So, how do you feel? You went back for the Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? <laughs> with us misfits. I actually feel free. It's been a long time. Thanks to you. I hope so. Finn and me had a bet how long you would last. Okay. Don't hurt me. I lost. Thanks. I'm glad you did. Can't get rid of me yet. Hey, 
How about shut the fuck up back there? I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Asian 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. Meryl got a good deal on him. <sighs> okay, just don't be so mean. He's right there. Oh, Sean, are you crushing on Big Joseph? Oh, that is so sweet. Sean loves Big Joe. Sean loves Big Joe. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. He's kind of a mystery. Hey, bike down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Yeah, me too. Let's try to go to bed early tonight, okay? Yes, please. And no wheat. All right, who's ready for another great day at the office? Shut up. Ooh, somebody doesn't want to be employee of the month. I'm so fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Hey, come on. That's not cool. Uh, are you really shit-talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. Hey. You're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just wanted to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro. That guy would have beat you down. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way, right? Uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just... You don't get paid to be late. Next time, you won't be. <laughs> Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, 
I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Totally. Um, thank you again. Didn't you hear me? I don't speak kiss ass. Sorry, I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm gonna go check on him then. How old is he anyway? Oh, uh, nine. He's nine years old. Jeez, tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on them. Not my business, but... You got kids? Yeah, a daughter. Twelve years old. Do you... Do you get to see her? Not often. But she needs the money I get out here. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it. All right, we good? Eh, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told them they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, you know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I hear you, but we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Merrill's rules from now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Merrill. He can be cool, but... Scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick yeah. a bud and get to it. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring, we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa! That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. 15 hours straight once. Yeah, trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa. We are lucky. Right, and then your arms fall off. <coughs> Fuck all that. You got any reception, Big Joe? This place is a cell killer. Oh, of course. I should clean my scissors. They're a mess. Ooh, 
you okay, sweetie? It's okay. You're doing fine. Just slow down if you need to. I know. I will. Thanks, Sean. Mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay, just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. Daniel, you still have to learn stuff. I had to go to school. Yep. You fight like brothers. So cute. Going too fast. Take your time, dude. Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. Teddy, Meryl here. Sure. Oh. Yeah. But for real, okay. though, if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere, Cassidy, we get it over and over. Hey, come on. You don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. Jesus. Okay, man. Calm. Uh, I'd love to visit New Orleans. Yep. Yeah. Check out the voodoo okay. shops and the blues band. <laughs> That would be cool. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. Cool, I mean. let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. Fucking this man. is Joey, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit. It's always something. The damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa. Down. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please. I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh. Don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. <sighs> We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we gonna squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop! You know we voted to stay for a while. Uh, Once it's legal, we ain't got no more job here. Shit. How's it going? Same as always. They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go! Ugh. Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus. We're off the bus. Oh. Hey, she just needs freedom, dude. Exactly. Thank you, darling. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. What's this? But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Joseph. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah, sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. 
been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. You gotta be careful with those scissors. They're sharp as fuck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. <laughs> Part of the fun. Ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? Actually, kind of fun. Cass and Hannah cracked me up. They're like sisters. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job. Cash. Friends. Safety. Sean, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear, he acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> yeah. My brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of... Mm, Messed up. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah. He'd steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got busted. <laughs> Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That sucks. Uh, what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling. <laughs> Checking out new well, things. You know, yeah, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. So fucking far. Hey, hey it is. Uh, but you have time and a strong, uh, damn it, uh, will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. Uh, it will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh. Yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help.
What are you doing? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. You're like a walking Swiss army knife. Who taught you? I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. I can tell. Don't let me stop you, cowboy. <laughs> Later. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. Hey. Hola. Que hey esta señor? <laughs> Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh, no comprendo. <laughs> Don't laugh. Still learning, professor. <laughs> At least you're trying. Hey, am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. She's so natural. I wish I could be more like that. Socializing is hard. I should take a good look at the subject before drawing. Okay, got it. I like how Cassidy is in her own world when she's playing music. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks? <laughs> that may be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back, please. Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. You're good. Wow, <laughs> I look happy, like I belong here. <laughs> I love how you see me, Sean. I think I look cooler as a sketch. Really? You think it's okay? <laughs> no, I'm just being nice. If it was bad, you would know. I don't lie. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? <laughs> I don't know. I just get inspired by the things I see and do. And uh, being around people like you helped a lot. So I'm um, like your muse. Sweet. <laughs> well, uh, you're a great model. Yeah. Oh, don't make me blush. We all learn from each other, right? That's why I love my life right now. Finally. <laughs> yeah, but. We don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. What do you miss about your old life? Anything? Besides some friends? Nothing. Well, my own bathroom. <laughs> Out here, you see that you don't need all that bullshit they sell. Huh. That's freedom. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but I want a base. 
Will you ever go back to Texas? No fucking way. My daddy was a meth head who beat the shit out of my boyfriend. Just because he wasn't white. Yep. Then my big brother told me he would shoot me if I dated. Dated that, well, you know, my mom didn't say squat as usual. Thanks, mom. So, fuck them all. This is my family now. Damn, I'm sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> ah, don't be. I feel sorry for them. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> well, apart from my dad, I'd say Lila. Definitely. She was like my best friend. I miss our talks. I'm sure she's very special. Even when I had a shitty day, she would always make me laugh. Always. Feels like years since we talked. Probably never again. But things change. Right? Yep. So keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. So, Hannah, how long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money, nobody. Hitched north, worked on farms, learned how to trim. Had to bail after some tweaker tried to attack me up in Arcata. What? That is awful, Hannah. I almost killed that fuck. But I came back to Humboldt because of Finn. I had this sweet deal with Meryl. It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home. Get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up? We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green. But starting to look like shit. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit. Especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet, too. Sweden is not perfect, but we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. I think you both are missing the point, guys. Hannah wasn't talking about the environment. When you don't have any food or... roof, you're not gonna recycle or eat only organic. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Taurus talking shit again. Like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world, and then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest? Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job, and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest? None of my business. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I know how to cook. Just not everything. Yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV, I can tell. Like those kids who come through here all psyched, and they have to bust ass, and they're gone. I know I have a lot to learn. I mean, you've been doing this for years, right? Pretty much, ten years or so. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. I know, that's not what I'm trying to do. Last thing I want is to interfere with your group. I'm not saying you can never fit. Just letting you know how it is. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. 
This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I hear you, but my brother comes first, always. That's good, shows you're not a selfish prick. That way too many. So, how did you hook up with the others? Met Finn at some squat when he got out of jail. Young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago, pissed at everything. Hurt, unable to commit to anything, except us. Then Pennywise found us, here in Humboldt, tripping about his friend Jinx. But you know, he just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance, prospects. That's way more than I had before. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me too. I'm glad you're at peace now. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. These guys know how to make a bong out of pretty much anything. And now I do too. Shit. Guess Penny's looking for somebody. That sucks. Nice to have a dog around again. Still miss Shroom. Aw, they look so cute here. I love how they're like a real family. Wonder if they'd give me a cool nickname if I stayed here. Nice to have a dog around again. Still miss Shroom. I think I will miss it here. Same. But we can't resist the wanderlust. Plus, Portland's waiting for us. Yes, oh, I know. I think I'll take a nap. Go fill the water tanks. I'm exhausted. I have one job. Must be tough to be so far away from his sister. Hello, Dolly. You're old. That's some deep shit. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder who's her mom. And who's the other woman? So cool he carries this around. Wish I could see the pictures he took of us. Weird. Where did he get that from? Almost done. 
Need two more hands, Dishmaster? Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm on it. So boring. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing them? That's it. Finally. Need a hand with your own chores? That'd be awesome. I need help moving the water tanks to the shower and kitchen. Okay. I'll wait for you near the water tank, so we can take on those barrels. I actually never helped him with the dishes back in Seattle. But everything's different now. Weird we didn't see any bears, with all that trash lying around. Don't want the crew to get pissed if I don't get their water. Let's get these over to the kitchen in the shower. Okay, let's do this. Carefully. <laughs> By the way, you kicked ass today. You have been all week. Thanks, man. I know this sucks, but you're a good worker. Now that we have a nice stash, we don't have to stay long. I really don't trust these guys. And Big Joe's got. 360 vision. More like big joke. Hate that guy. Don't let him hear you say that. Seriously. He's not funny. That's what Finn calls him. Well, you're not Finn. These guys are dangerous, understand? They don't fuck around. Jeez. Are you scared? This game is bigger than us, Daniel. Older, too. Well, I'm not scared. Your power doesn't make you invincible. Yeah, it's just here to move barrels around. <sighs> Think I made some good trims today. And talking. Hey, Daniel. Thanks for saving my back. I owe you. Cool. Hey, you said we could go training today? I did, I did. Ready when you are, young master. Yes, let's meet at the lake. Penny's all over the place. He'll go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Man, I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. Damn, trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Oh, yeah. I can do better with my own skills now. Next level. Onward. Ready to rumble? 
I am so ready. Let's start with our team Howl. Oh. T.S. Lobos. Still sound okay. Now let's do this. Come on. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. Might make for a cool souvenir. The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. I'm gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. Okay, let's have some fun. We're out of sight here. Should be safe. Bet it's different here in the summer. Penny said it gets crazy crowded. People everywhere. Yeah. That's why we can train out here now. No people. Tanya likes pine cones. Let's have a little fun with those. Pick a rock. Any rock. Okay, and... Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit, that was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? I told you I rule. Let's see what he can do with multiple targets now. Uh, think he can lift all those? I know I can. Oh, Daniel, that's a, that's amazing. Aw, that's not hard. Ew, these need a little harvest. Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms 
and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the? <laughs> that was some next-level shit, Daniel. Thanks. I've been... training on my own sometimes. I know I haven't been around a lot lately. You still have to be careful with it, man. You always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well, it's my power, not yours. Whatever. What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! That sucks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Bet you don't even want me around anymore. Don't say that. You know it's always you and me, and I know. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. I can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together. Right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No! I got serious munchies. Any chips left? Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat ball. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't have made a long death to leg ducks. I took both roads everywhere Whoa. they went. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO. I'm oh, serious, man. Look. They're finally coming to take you back. It's giving. I'm ready. I'm willing. Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. I love your voice. Meow. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <laughs> <clears throat> hint, hint. John, take a puff. 
and pass it to your friend. Um, sure. I'll take a hit. Daniel, no fucking way. How come you can, but I can't? Because I said so. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it, like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Go now. Sleep tight. Jeez. I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and black flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. I had to run for it. He saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. Sorry about your pup, Hannah. Fuck it, that's life or death. Yin and yang, right? Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, Hans. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory. Fair and square. <laughs> Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Bust out the violin. Check this out. Uh. Say hello to my little friend. Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with it. I think I loved him. Gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust in no one before. We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash, but he disappeared. A few miles north from here, in a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck, and zoom. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Wow. Wasn't there, like, an investigation? Something? Fuck no. He didn't have no ID, no nothing. Cops don't give a fuck about us. I looked for him for a while, but I couldn't track him down. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true mm. believer. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada, small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for, even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. 
I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Bet your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. Family ties are a mess. Trust me. I know how that feels to be rejected. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh, uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> what about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else. <laughs> Whoa. No. No way, man. I'm too wasted. How about me? You're the man I was waiting for. It's not only one bad memory, but they're all about my friends. I feel like I've let everyone down, like Noah and Lila from Seattle, and our doggy mushroom was killed and taken away by a puma. Then I lost Chris because we had to run away again. I'm not sure I'll ever hear from him again. I just left him all alone. But more than anything, I miss my best friend, my dad. Jesus, little man, that's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you I'd win. You didn't let anybody down. Life did. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. <sighs> Come on. Bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just got to focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Want to know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. we just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes, he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day, too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? Yep. 
I'm ready to crash too. Let's go. What? No, you're gonna miss our makeover skill. I'll fall asleep, and then you'll turn my ear on. Oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, night. Sweet night. Dreams, See you yo. in the morning. You didn't have to come with me, you know? I know. Hey, can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah. Anybody could have seen you lifting that thing up, dude. I didn't think about that. I had such a burst of power from being upset. Are you losing control over your power? No way. I mean, it's just different now. I can feel it. Like, it's alive inside me. Strong. I just wish I could have a normal life again. Stop being so angry all the time. Hey, I'm sorry about your bad memory. Thanks. You're not alone. And you still have friends out there who care. Bet they think about you every day. You could make a call to Chris once we're out of here. I just miss them all. Noah, Lila, Mushroom, even Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it. But it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah. You're too big for it. I am? But I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers, if that's okay. Just don't tell the others, okay? Promise. All right. Get comfy. Where were we? Oh, yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends. But the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on. But he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the wolf brothers from each other. Ever. Sean! Sean! Come on! Sean! Sean! Move it! Now! No.
Okay. This is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... Or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. Maybe a new toothbrush for me and Daniel. I know you guys dig our morning breath. No. No, we all think it's really hot, actually. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know, but we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes, and don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. Swear. Okay, we'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move. Now explain. That sneaky fucker, he was snooping around your living room. No, I wasn't. I was just bored, so I came in. Uh, shut up, Daniel. S seriously, let Shh. him go. I told you. Come on, Meryl. He's a kid, not a thief. You want to frisk him? <sighs> Look at him. He's just following his big brother. Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's Bullshit, man! Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir, quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Let me go! 
Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it? It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What? Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Whoa. Well, that's it. Believe it or not, told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn, I would be scared shitless. We're careful. I'm always here, in case anything happens. And I practice every day. Man, so Sean, maybe this shit is in your DNA too. Do you have a superpower? Nada. Zero. Nothing. Trust me. I tried. Really? When? Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But... I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn. You're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself. Seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise. You can trust us. Jake? I don't know. I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. It's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him, too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Ah, uh, hold up. You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh, no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Uh, getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I didn't think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just 
having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. So should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude, I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. Don't worry. You can trust them. They said they won't tell. I know, but what if anyone gets scared and calls the cops? You don't know what can happen. Yeah, maybe. We'll just have to be careful then. <sighs> At least we won't have to worry about any of this once we're in Puerto Lobos. Who cares about Puerto Lobos? We'll talk later. As everyone's expecting me. Better hit that party. <laughs> Shit. Are we really getting kicked out of this place? We don't have enough money to go down to Mexico. What the fuck are we supposed to do? Dudes, dudes, dudes. Fuck Shit. Him. You gotta think Cassidy's about Cassidy's been first. busting my balls about know, a tattoo but... for a week. Looks like she meant it. For so long, and we're so far. So different from the parties I had in Seattle. But I feel good. So different from the parties I had in Seattle. But I feel good here. Hey, guys. What's up? Oh, yeah. Sean is in the house. Grab a brew, smoke a bowl. I'm so good. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm already bust. <laughs> That's the start. Don't puss out. I want to see you get wild. Here. Hey, dudes. I am drunk. No shit. So, Diaz, what's up? Hey, um, uh, I saw the Jinx posters by your tent. Are you still looking for him? What were you looking over there for? Sorry, man. Didn't mean to pry. I'm... It's fine. Yeah, I still carry these around. Drop them around when I can. You know, just in case. But no news so far. I'm sorry about that, Penny. Sad. We hear rumors about this place, but never think it was, uh... That life we chose, though. Yeah, we'll meet again. <laughs> You're a badass motherfucker. I hope you do, man. When did you guys start drinking? When I was 15. Oh, you mean tonight? No clue, man. <laughs> Mika. And this place is gonna be a ghost town tomorrow. So burn it down tonight, right? Fucking A. Skull! So, what's the next stop for you two travelers? I want to go north. Ingrid wants to go south. To both? Fuck that. I want to see Canada. She go to takes ass. Yeehaw. At least you have a choice. Still going down Mexico way? Yep. One way. Won't mind being in that heat, though. This is summer compared to Detroit. Summer. I believe you. 
I'm so pissed we have to bail tomorrow. Bullshit. Fuck Meryl. I can't figure this guy. Hates me, loves Finn. Kicks you out, crazy shit. Doesn't matter now. We're gone. No more job. I would rage if we did not get paid. Sean, this job ain't a thing. I can hook you up with another farm. Really? That would be fucking great. If you can. No worries. Okay. I'm done. More beer and weed for you. You leaving? Lightweight. We party for you, Sean. Talk later. <sighs> hey. Why so sad, little man? Uh, I miss... Hey, what's up? Uh, just waiting for your ass? It is your party, dude. That looks like a big Joe bruise. So come on. What the fuck did you guys do? I just... Uh, stole some weed. That's it. What? Wait. You stole pot from here? It's almost free. Yeah, stupid. I know. I just wanted some to sell. <laughs> You're a shitty dealer. Okay, no need to poop the party. Let's enjoy the night. Hear that, Jake? Time to party, not pray. I was just... <laughs> Sorry. You okay, Jacob? Sure. Fine. Everything's cool. Okay. Just don't get too fucked up. I'm fine. Just thinking. You two want to be alone? Well, I do. Okay. Let's talk later. Later. Hey, Daniel. What's up? Nothing. Just hanging out with my friends. Um, okay. I'll just be around. Come get me when you want to go to sleep. Yeah, okay. Talk later. Don't forget about Finn. He's waiting for me. Damn. I'm gonna miss Cass. Never met anybody. I kind of feel her. Being so far from home. And with someone getting on her nerves half the time. I'm gonna miss Cass. Never met anybody like her. Hey, everything okay? Diaz, my favorite straight A student. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. No, don't. I can go. If I'm interrupting, or. Don't worry, we're done. I think I need some alone time anyway. See you later. Cheer up, sister. What's going on? Don't worry about that. Secret girl talk. I'm so bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. Are you still going to Mexico? Yeah. At least we have to try. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But they want more cash. And Shin likes to get his weed on. Um, 
Why don't you come with us? Is that... Are you serious? Yeah. Why not? That's so sweet, Sean. But I'm not cut out for that laugh. I can't stay in the same place. I need to move. See places. Live. And the last thing Daniel wants is me bumming around with you two. <laughs> Whoa, down. Fuck that shit. It's fiesta time. Even if it's our last night here, we'll meet again, Sean. One thing I learned traveling is how small the world is. We already met twice. Why not more? Even if we don't, we'll be fucking cool memories in each other's mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But the best way to remember somebody is a tattoo. <laughs> Ready? Wait, are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's... Let's do it. Really? Yes. Yes. Here comes your street cred. What's your favorite game? <laughs> yeah, um... I'm not sure I... I'm joking. It'll be super cool. I swear. So, what do you want? Think hard. Um, a wolf? Thingy? But not too cringe, okay? Boy, you won't be disappointed. Here's to your first tattoo, Sean Diaz. All right, put your arm over here. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, um... Hey! Don't move, sweetie. But it fucking hurts. <laughs> what did you think this was? Doodling on your arm with a pen? Don't worry. You won't feel the pain. Eventually. Better? Mm-hmm. Mm My poor city boy. At least I'm sure you'll never forget me now. I don't need a tattoo to remember you, Cass. Bullshit. Life's a bitch, Sean. You know it as much as I do. Who knows what's coming for you? Mm. A month from now, you can meet a sugar mommy or get hired on a cruise ship to Egypt or whatever. And before you know it, we'll be a tiny memory in the back of your mind. Then we'll keep in touch. It's 2017. There's a million ways that we can keep track of each other. Yeah, maybe you're right. I heard homing pigeons are the new trend. I mean it, Cass. I'll get a burner so we can talk once in a while. And when we can, we'll try to meet each other. The world isn't that big. You said it yourself. You're right, Sean Diaz. I'd like that. And... I'm done. What do you think? It looks good! Thanks. A lot. I love it. I'm glad you like it. This will keep it warm for the night. You'll need to buy a healing balm when you can. Hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now. Come with me. That was cool. Hope I don't look like a clown. I actually kind of get why they all wear tattoos. Feels like you look. I'm gonna get one of these as soon as we're out. This is a life changer on the road. Shit. I think there's more beer than water in this camp. I 
kind of feel her. Being so far from home. And with someone getting on her nerves half the time. Jeez. Cassidy's crazy. Yo, Sean. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. So, what are you going to do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm going to do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. it took off. That was it, man. No more family. Just me. Always trying to find a new daddy. Or new bros. Yeah. Stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off. Start over all for myself. That's what you're doing. Yeah. You're starting all over. And now... You... Just gotta take the next step to build a something for you and Daniel, right? I know you're right, Finn. It's just a fucking lot to think through. <laughs> no, it's not. You just gotta trust your gut, Sean. Life will follow. Yeah. No, oh, it's gonna be all right, laddie. You, uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, it's bullshit after all this. You deserve the lotto for life. Seriously. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. Now, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style with a, a nest egg. Now, you don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this if I had any doubt. I can't, Finn. No way. Too dangerous for Daniel. Nah. nah. See, Daniel is the dangerous one. Nobody can even touch him. You know it. I said no. I bet you're pissed at us because he didn't get paid. I would be too. I'm so sorry, but... Okay. Okay. No stress, man. I respect your decision. Just wanted to help you. And Daniel. Much love to you guys. Yeah. Sucks you have to go tomorrow. Makes me sad. <laughs> Gonna miss you, Sean. Truly. Thanks, Finn. Same here. I'm glad you and Daniel have each other. You two are special. You got powers. Don't take shit from anybody ever again. Go on. Get back to your party. I'm stoned. Gonna zen out. Damn, Finn. You need to land, man. I'd rather work my ass off for months than take that risk. <laughs> it will be so weird to not hear his stupid voice all day long.
Sean! Come on! <laughs> Oh, fuck this. It's freezing. <laughs> it's all in your head. Just don't think about it. <laughs> uh, sure, don't think. <sighs> okay, here I come. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get over it. Hurry up. There you go. Bring it home. <laughs> Hey, you got to take it all off. No cheating. Oh, shit, shit, shit. My, my balls. Oh. Cassidy, do not even... You are so... Adorable? Yeah, I know. Not bad, Diaz. Didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> My body just had to get used to it. Not that cold. That's because I had to pee. Ha, ha, ha! So, what are you gonna do about Finn and, you know, his plan? It's a really stupid idea. Way too dangerous, especially for Daniel. I know. Finn acts like this is no big deal, but this feels bad. Plus, I don't want you guys to get in any more trouble. Yeah. Tell that to Daniel. He's gonna be pissed. He's your brother. He'll listen to you. Finn wants to take care of us, but... But he doesn't always see other people. It's all about him. I know. But I feel bad for ruining his dream. He'll rage for a while, for sure. Then I'll be cool. He likes you. What do you mean? Come on, Heartbreaker. You know everybody likes you. I plead guilty. Yeah. I like you, too. Oh, Sean, <laughs> that's sweet. I'm flattered. Or do you bust out this line whenever you go skinny dipping? First time, swear. Are you sure? I'm not that much of a player, as you can tell. Hmm, I don't know. We're both already naked. Hey, that's your fault. Not that I mind. So, do you want to kiss me? Yes, I do. If that's cool. Yes, it is. See? Now, let's get out of here. Hold on a sec. Okay. <laughs> it's been worse. Sean? Hello? You want me to come inside? If you want to, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Then get in, bro. Sorry for the mess. Hoarders rejected my application. Again. <laughs> I 
Are you cool? Um, totally. Uh, I'm, I'm just nervous. Kind of bummed we waited till now. No shit. You're kind of a slow player, dude. Now we're all cozy, right? Yeah, um... Hey, listen, I... I think you should know that I'm... Uh... I know. Don't worry about it, okay? What's up? Nothing. I just... Uh, never mind. Come on. Talk to me. Sorry, I... Uh, sorry it sucked. Sean, this is your first time. I won't give you a bad review online. Promise. That's uh, sweet. But y you don't have to be like that. Hey, I mean it, Sean. Just take it easy and you'll have time to practice, okay? Okay, we need some fresh air. Let's get dressed. Until we fuck again. Sean, it's all good, okay? Hey, what's happening? Wait, did you guys just have sex? Yeah, <laughs> kinda. Uh, yep. Did you see Finn? He was with Daniel, but now I can't find him. Well, you didn't see anybody out there, but... We better go now. Figures Daniel is with him. Just tell Finn I want to talk. Thanks much. Later. Sean, hold up. Wait a sec. Why? We have to stop them. Let's figure out a plan first. We don't have time for that shit. Well, we have to get to Merrill's before then. You're right. Maybe we can borrow one of Big Joe's trucks. So messed up. I told Daniel. <sighs> Fucking Finn. Hey, get mad later. We got shit to do now. If something happens, <sighs> fuck me. It's okay. We're gonna get them. Bring them back. Thanks for coming with me, Cassidy. Don't thank me. I'm gonna kill Finn myself. Can't believe it. We were gone, what? Ten minutes? Twenty? Shh, don't holler. We don't want Big Joe to see us. 
Gates wide open. Somebody build the lock. Of course. We probably gotta jack a car. One truck is missing. See? Those tracks are headed out. Fuck. At least they didn't wake Big Joe up. But if we do, he'll kill us, Sean. So let's not advertise. No lights, no noise. I'll check the car, you do the truck. Figures. Check the other door now. Daniel, what are you getting into? Sean, I checked the car. All doors locked. Of course. Keep looking around. We need to find a way to open that trunk. Maybe the car then? Cass, check it out. So, all the doors are locked. Just gotta get into one car. And I think I can get that truck started. You shitting me? My dad was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck. Just in case. Sean Diaz, you're full of surprises. Plus, we could, uh, mess with all the other cars so Big Joe can't follow us. Love the way you think. We can find some things here to bust shit up. But we can't make a sound. I can wreck that engine. If I can open the hood. He's just right over there. This plan is crazy. Hurry up, Sean. Hmm. Nice. Nothing over here, man. Eco-friendly, my ass. They're just criminals. Gotta be something here I can use. <sighs> Forget it. Might use that to force something open. Oh, fuck. Guess we won't be working here anymore. Finn is so fucking stupid. Maybe this fits in one of the cars. We gotta slash those tires. Nothing over here, man. Just gotta get in that truck and start her up. Score!
Man, that guy is really not joking. Yeah, no. Don't think I can use that. Holy shit. That's why there's no critters around here. There she blows. Damn, that was fun. Not gonna follow us now, motherfucker. Just want to be back in my tent. I'm creeping out here. Anything useful in this junk? Wonder why he keeps that car here. Probably to get down to Arcata and pick up some girls. Man, focus. We have to get into that truck. These bunch of pigs sure don't care about this place. Jeez, come on. Give me something. Maybe we can get in through here. No way. Score. Almost. <sighs> We're in, Cass. We did it. Not yet. What if Big Joe? We're cool. Bet he's asleep. Hop in. I love driving old junkers. Okay. Let's do this. Take it easy, Sean.
don't like this shit at all. <sighs> yeah. I just want to get this over with. If we make it. Don't say that. Things can't go wrong after the night we've had. This is basic karma. Shit. Right. I want this to continue, Cass. We should go. They might not even be inside yet. Oh, Finn is out of control. Has he done this before? Fuck us over? Not like this. Why now? Because Finn thinks Daniel is his golden ticket. He just gets greedy and stupid. We gotta catch him. Oh, man. I hope Meryl didn't hear them. Come on. Maybe we can stop them before they fuck up. your ass if Daniel gets hurt. I just don't know if we can ever trust Finn after this shit. I wouldn't. Hannah is gonna go ballistic. Guess you have to tell her too. Hell yeah. She knows how to deal with his ass. Let's deal with this. Good. At least Meryl won't know anyone's coming. Scared the shit out of me. Good. What the fuck are you doing? Didn't we settle this, man? Shh. You're gonna wake Meryl. Finn, no fucking way. Come on, Sean. Are you kidding me? How could you do that, Finn? And you're some fucking kid. He's nine years old. He asked me for it. I didn't force him, man. Are you an idiot? He's too young to make that kind of decision. Fuck's sake, Finn. He's an old soul. He knows what's up. Hold on, please. You're standing near a boatload of cash. We can do this in five minutes, in and out. And then you're off to Mexico. You won't hear about me ever again. We got this, man. Trust me. No means no, Finn. Meryl is right fucking there. Uh, he's a log. Won't even know. You asshole. I want to help, Sean. We could get out of here. Go to Mexico. He said no fucking way, Sean. Please. We're done, Finn. Come on, Daniel. No. Why should I? We couldn't even find you before. You were with her, right? Who gives a shit? Let's go. Now. No, I'm sick of all this. For weeks, you just hang out with her. It's all your fault. I could do what I want. Are you crazy? The fuck are you doing here? Shit. Don't move. Don't shoot. What the fuck? How many are you? Just us. It's just us. All right. Move your asses over there. Now. Uh, Meryl. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but... Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. God damn it, Finn, I told you- Shut up! This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. I thought you were different. 
Smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your head. Shit, don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We... We could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now! Do what he says. Don't worry. We're on our knees, okay? Meryl? No. Finn, just do it! Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you got this. Don't move. Just get on your damn knees! Yeah, now! He can't do this. Don't uh. fucking move. It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. <sighs> Can't let you play me anymore. Either. Sean! Daniel, do it! <laughs> Get out! Oh, out, son of a bitch! Sean! Wait! <laughs> Stop! Oh my god! 